right, so we are here in Cusco, Peru, and we are here in October 2021. And Cusco, this city is a city located in the Andean Mountains or the Andes Mountains in Peru. So the elevation is pretty high. The elevation is about let's hang on. The elevation is about 3,400 meters above sea level. And this is the seat of the Incan Empire. Those of you who may have studied a little bit about the history of the um, native peoples of the Americas, you know, you know, you have the, the Mayans, the Tainos, the Incas, the Native Americans, the Caribs, and so on. Well, this is the seat of the Incan Empire. And, you know, it was conquered by the Spanish. Um, you can read the story of Francisco Pizarro. He pretty much conquered the, the Incan Empire. And the reason why Pizarro came to Peru in the first place and Cusco <laughs> and Cusco in particular was because of gold he heard that there was gold in Peru and in Cusco in particular and he essentially he essentially um, captured the Incan chief if you want to call him that Atuhalka, I think his name was. And look at that llama over there. He captured the Incan chief and pretty much held him captive and asked all the people, the Incan people, told them in order to get your chief back, you're gonna have to bring us gold. And Pisa, uh, Atuhalka was in agreement with it, you know, uh, not today. So we are actually here at the Plaza de Armas, uh, no. and we're looking at this square here is, was actually twice the size of what it is right now. I think it's probably one of the beautiful the most beautiful places I've seen but this was where a lot of Incan rituals took place historically you know this is where they would come and pray to their gods um, of course it has been decimated because it was you know um, conquered by the by Pizarro and they built different buildings here so the square was actually twice the size of what it is right now but it's still a very beautiful square and a lot of the you can see a lot of Incan culture here so as I was saying with Atuhalka which was the Incan chief he was in agreement with them bringing gold to the Spanish oh, no, to, um, to, so that he could be free so it turned out though that long and short of it Pizarro still ended up killing Atuhalka and stealing all the gold he melted the gold and put them in bars and you know may have shipped them back to, 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 to Spain because he and his brother Hernando Pizarro you know got the rights or the right from the Spanish government to do an expedition in Peru to seek gold so it's a much longer story than I've just given but you know because of the fact that people might be walking up to me and trying to sell steaks and stuff uh, not today oh it's okay <laughs> Yeah, people might be walking up to me trying to steal stuff. I, it's kind of messed up my train of thought. But the whole story of Francesco... Yes, the whole story of Francesco Pizarro 
it's pretty interesting you know definitely can read about it um but for now you know until i have time i'm just gonna walk around until i have time to tell the story a little bit better i'm just gonna walk around and look at this square i mean you can look up in these mountains you see settlements up there um it's a pretty big city and you know a lot of tourists here all the time you know it's a main square that people come and walk around you know lots of restaurants and bars around too you know and people are always trying to sell stuff yeah people are always trying to sell stuff so you know i'm gonna have to be on the lookout for that so i came out here last night walked around um didn't get to do do as much sightseeing because i got here a little late um we're gonna be here for a while so you know still gonna be going to Machu Picchu and all of that but it's one of the cities i would say um in 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 latin america that has preserved you know it's culture it's incan culture you know um incan culture is is uh very prominent and we'll be doing some incan tasting as well tasting some incan food you know because a lot of the food here has been globalized and americanized and you know sometimes it loses its culture but there is actually a tour that you can take where you can have specific Incan food so we'll definitely get a chance to see that um, during the time we're here but I honestly think this is a very beautiful city I would say it's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to yeah <laughs> so a lot is being offered around here too a lot of the Incan uh, fabric is being sold you know there's definitely a lot to buy around here This is another part of the square. It's not as prominent as the one that we just walked through, but it still is a, a very, very prominent part of Cusco. Ooh. So you see the cobblestone roads here. You see that's a lot around here actually. Nice little water park, water fountain going here. You know, people are peddling their wares, selling what they're selling. And I think I want to walk down here because it seems like there's a little bit more going on. But yeah, I would say if you're you're coming to Peru, I would, I would definitely put this city as one of the top cities to visit. Because in Lima, Lima is a nice city and everything. It's a nice big city, but it doesn't really have much of the culture going on um, there. In Cusco here, You'll see a lot of Peru culture, or Incan culture, and even in even in uh, Peru in in Lima, you see the Inca farmer, you see Inca cola. So you know they have branded their 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 tribe, really.
the Incans have branded the pharmacy, they have branded the, you know, um, a soft drink or a pop, call it Inca Cola. And there's even a. Oh, not today. <laughs> And there's even um wow look at this building. They've even branded their I said soft drink, they've branded their pharmacy. And you know, they've they've maintained their culture a lot. And you know, somebody has to respect that. Now I, I do see that Roman Catholicism is very much prevalent in this culture. I mean it's it's pretty common in Latin America in general but you know it is common here in particular you know I've seen Roman Catholic, Catholic rituals going on you know a lot while I've been here so It's a beautiful city though. It's a really beautiful city. You know, and the story of Francesco is uh, it's pretty sad. Some of the things that happen, but it is what it is. Oh, not today, sorry. So yeah, lots of people, you know, lots of tourists, um, not only tourists from the Western world, but, or not only tourists from America or Canada or Europe, but also tourists from Latin America as well. So you notice a lot of people from Colombia, you know, Brazil, Ecuador, because those countries share border with Peru. Oh, not today. Sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for a Christian society. As you can see, sometimes you'll see people praying in front of the statue of Jesus or the statue of um, Mary here. Yes. <laughs> so here's another park. I have to look what this park is about um, before I walk out into the street. Yeah, I, I think this is pretty beautiful. I don't know how much of the Incan architecture has been preserved and how much of this is Spanish architecture. A lot of it does kind of look like Spanish architecture. Um, but I still think it's a pretty beautiful city. There's a lot of people selling. A lot of people chilling out and doing what have you eating, texting, and more, so, pretty interesting to see that the day will bring, so I don't want to make this video too long because I know 
you know it can get that way there's a lot to see so it's like almost every corner you turn there's something to see so i don't want to make it too long but there you go it's definitely worth visiting costco i would say um you know there are lots of nice places to go lots of, lots of nice places to to see i haven't even started doing the touristy stuff as yet i haven't been to machu picchu i haven't been to rainbow mountain and you know all the other things that i can't even remember right now because when i came you know when i just came i got shown a lot of things to do like you pretty much can't run out of stuff to do here and it's funny like you notice a lot of people are wearing kind of winter clothes kind of the thing in, in lima to be honest at night it's kind of chilly in the morning it's pretty cold but it's not really cold you can't you can get over with wearing a, a, a t-shirt here it's not that cold you know but i mean their culture is their culture you know and a lot of them wear heavy jackets and that's just what it is um, for me it, seem, it it feels pretty hot to me but me it could be because i'm walking a lot you know because i'm walking and i'm moving then i get a little hot i'm still here <laughs> i'm just trying not to focus on myself and focus on the sights and the sounds but it's pretty hot you know it's not as cold as people will have it you know but yeah you can you can get an idea of what you know the city is typically like on a thursday i mean trust me there is a lot more there is a lot more to see this is really just a small part of the city this is just a small part of the city so yeah. this is by no means an overarching view of the city but it's something Ooh. 